Hi guys, it's Jarrett from Omni Study. Today, I'll be showing you how I self-study high school geometry as an 8th grader and my bullet journal pages so far in this flowery month of May. A lot of us are quarantined and are currently practicing social distancing, and also a lot of us don't have access to the internet or go to a school that is moving lessons online. Even though I am not taking geometry in school, and I'm just so incredibly, horribly extra to be studying for a ninth grade course, I hope this video will be helpful for those of us trying to study by ourselves at home. Under the first bullet point indent, I put the name of a chapter. I try to do two chapters every month. I can't really do more, at least while juggling other extracurriculars in school. Under the second indent, I put titles of different exercises that I need to complete. These might be classroom exercises, written exercises, self-tests, or other things. Then, I divide these exercises into groups that I can do per day. I assign a variable to each one of these groups. Then, I write that variable down in my monthly spread. The variable I use is the initials of the chapter, and then the number the exercise is. I know that might be a little bit confusing, but for example, if it's in a chapter and this is the first section of exercises that I'm doing, I will label that chapter initials plus one, and etc. for the second set and the third set. Realistically, I won't be able to complete this whole entire textbook by the beginning of next school year, but I recommend you start studying for your next school year courses now just to get a head start and to get your mind thinking about that certain subject. We students, whether in college or my age, are busy people with many passions. It's important to stay on top of schoolwork, and I personally prefer to prepare for the courses that I'm taking the next school year. But it's also important to engage in activities we enjoy doing, not only to get into college, but also to keep our mental health in track. I find that I am passionate about many things, and I recommend, if you are like me, organizing them by two things. First, how urgent they are, and second, how much you like doing those things. Prioritize the things that are most urgent and you are most passionate about. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope I've helped you create a study plan for something you are studying independently. See you next time!